I'm not going to do that. This morning, I just want to leave you with the words of Jesus. Jesus says, I have told you these things, that in me you might have peace. Many promises. In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. In the end, Jesus is the only one who can say, I've overcome the world. It was Leslie Newbigin, the great missionary and philosopher, who said, at the end of our life, the triumph song that will be sung is not, we shall overcome, kind of the 60s anthem. It's not that song that will be sung, but rather the song sung in Revelation 5.12, worthy is the Lamb who is slain. The reason that we don't have to descend to despair when trouble comes is because of the peace of God, the shalom of God, that will ultimately prevail in all of our lives. And we enjoy God's peace, His shalom, His smile right now, but it's not perfect. What we enjoy in part right now will be experienced in fullness when Jesus comes again. At that time when there will be no more death or dying or mourning or crying or pain because the old order of things will have passed away and peace will come in its fullness, in its completion and wipe away every tear from our eyes. This will happen when Jesus reigns again. So we face trouble with confidence. One last time. Do you have a faith, this peace that Jesus promises, that will sustain you when trouble comes to your life? December 9th, 1968, Karl Barth, who was the giant of 20th century theology, was talking on the phone on a cold German night to his longtime friend of 60 years, Edward Thunessen. And they talked late into the night of their life and the trouble they'd seen. And these two old friends, speaking into the darkness of the world situation, had lived through two global world wars, the horrors of Nazism. As they hung up, Karl Barth said to his old friend, well, keep your chin up. He will reign. Karl Barth died that night in his sleep. So his last words to his friend will be my last words to you. He will reign. And because he will reign, and because this peace will be complete, we can have a faith that can handle the troubles that Jesus promises will come. God, we're thankful for your tremendous work in our lives that promises peace and comfort in the midst of trouble. God, would you prepare a generation of men and women who in the difficult circumstances of life will not have their faith be capsized, but will have an abiding trust in you. God, bless these students with that type of faith. In Jesus' name, amen.